in one mile. I was having a little conversation with Holy Spirit about my faith and my trust. Faith has been a theme word for me this year. And I'm in a season to where he's really stretching my faith, okay? He's stretching my faith. And he's really just encouraging me to put my trust in him and, like, kind of showing me what that looks like. So I'm sitting here chatting with him. And I'm like, okay, Jesus, like, I'm following. I'm following the Holy Spirit. But it's like, I have no problem putting my trust in you, okay? Like, I got it. I believe you. I trust you. You're good. But I don't trust myself. Me and Holy Spirit are going back and forth between, like, two big things in my life right now okay it's just things that could either go one way or the other it's a yes or it's a no and he really hasn't given me a clear answer on either one of those things he's showing me that he hears me okay so he's showing me that he's not ignoring me but that the answer doesn't matter okay like the answer is not going to be revealed to me right now and so I'm grappling with how to move forward with that. It's like saying, check the box, yes or no. And he made his own box in the middle and checked it. With no words by it, just a check box. I'm like, okay, Lord, I hear you. I hear you. And at this point, I'm, I'm, I'm trusting you, okay? Because at first, I, 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 you know, it was a, I was struggling. Kind of getting to a point now where it's just like, okay, I'm understanding. What do I do, though? But, you know, like, it's not, it's not, I'm to a point where it's not really so much I don't trust you. It's to the point where I don't trust myself. And since I don't know which way it's going to go, I don't know what to do. And I don't want to do the wrong thing and then end up, like, messing things up, basically. And he told me, read the verse of the day. The verse of the day today is Isaiah 26, 8. And it's funny because I sent it to my family group chat. But when I sent it to them, I had a whole different intent behind it. He really told me to break this verse down, and I did I, I looked up the words and the verbiage of it and stuff so that I could really understand it. Isaiah 26, 8 says, You keep in perfect peace those with a steadfast mind because they trust in you. So I just started saying it over and over. And I was like, okay, let me start where I don't know. What does steadfast mean? And I was like, I know it means steady, but let me look it up. So I looked it up and it was saying unwavering. So I was like, well, let me look up wavering so that I can really know what unwavering means. And it means just that. It means steady. Then I started repeating it with unwavering in, in place of steadfast. You keep in perfect peace those with unwavering minds because they trust in you. Then I started getting into the because they trust in you part. And Holy Spirit dropped this on me. And I love it so much. Because he said to me, if your mind is steadfast, that means you trust in me. That's what the word says. Those who have steadfast mind because they trust in you. That means if I have a steadfast mind, I trust in God because there's no other way to have a steadfast mind because without God, there's no steadiness. If you don't have God, you're all over the place. If you don't have God, you're confused. If you don't have God, you're trying to find him in every other place. So because my mind is steadfast, my mind is steady, my mind is unwavering, then I had to ask God, well, what am I steadfast on? Like, what am I unwavering on? Then he said, in me. Your mind is steadfast in me and in who I am. Your mind has faith in me. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So you can't have faith if you if you don't hear the word of God. How do you have faith in what he said if you don't know what he's saying? So then I'm like, okay, this is, this is good, Jesus. This is good. You are cooking. So because my mind is stayed on you, that means I trust you. Because I'm focused on you, so I trust you. I'm locked in with you because I trust you. I'm like, okay, good. So then I was about to ask Holy Spirit again, like, okay, I'm missing something. You know, like, I'm missing something. How did, what does this have to do with me and me not trusting myself? He said, read the whole verse, Zay. I said, okay. <laughs> okay. You keep in perfect peace. Those who have steadfast minds because they trust in you. And I'm like, oh, you keep in perfect peace? He said, why are you worried? Why are you worried if I'm keeping you in perfect peace? I am keeping Zay in perfect peace because her mind is steadfast. That means she trusts me. That's the word of the Lord. That's the verse of the day today. June 29th, 2023. That's how Holy Spirit broke it down to me. He said, that right there is why you do not need to worry about you making the wrong move because I'm giving you peace. And on top of that, this is just for free in the overflow. He's told me this before, not today, he told me this before. There's nothing that you can do that, will, that, that, that puts you too far out of my bounds that I can't guide you back. I'm giving you peace. 
stop worrying about what if oh no but what if i what if i what if it god what if what if you tell me to turn right and i turn left you know that four left turns makes a complete circle and he'll get you right back to where you need to be so you can turn right what if i turn left and you tell me to turn right well then we're just gonna go with the left i'll do something else god is too big he's too big for his plans to be messed up by a mistake he's too big he's too big to allow his plans to be disrupted by you that goes for his plans for your life god is so big that his plans for your life cannot even be thrown off by you and you're the person living your life do you know that once you submit yourself to him there's nothing he can't do with you and we already talked about submission there's nothing he can't do because you've said yes to his will <laughs> you've given him the right you've given him the authority to your life ah uh, he's in it he's living through you if you're allowing him to he doesn't make mistakes even despite our mistakes there's probably some mistakes that you've made right now that you look back and you say wow god i see how you worked even through that situation with god nothing is a mistake even things that you shouldn't have been doing even things that aren't godly god will allow his glory to shine through come on if you're submitted to his will if you're listening to his voice if you're steadfast in your mind and that's crazy because that goes back to the youtube video that i just put out jesus i love god so that's it y'all that's all i got for y'all today that was the word of the lord today isaiah 26 8 love y'all see y'all deuce